All right, for all you golf fans and non-golf fans out there, grab your caddies. It's Masters Week. But before you watch, let's brush up on some of the terms you only hear on the course. We start with the most common, par. It's the number of strokes a golfer is supposed to make on a given hole. On a par five, for example, if it takes you five strokes to get the ball in the hole, you've parred that hole. Next up, one you don't really hear. It's albatross, not the bird. It's the term for a score of three under par. It really never happens, but before you ask, two under par is an eagle and one under par is a birdie. A lot of birds on the golf course. On the opposite end, something you don't want is a bogey. That's when you shoot one stroke above par. Major Charles Wellman introduced the term after calling another player a regular bogeyman back in 1890. And finally, I know you've heard this one before. Four. Golfers shout it to other golfers after shooting a shot that, let's just say, doesn't go where they wanted it to. So if you ever hear that, word to the wise, duck. I will be the first to admit I've yelled four a lot more times than, hey, I got an eagle. Right, right, right. Yeah, me too. All right, so you know why there are 18 holes in golf? Uh, no, actually. Why, Rob? Why, Rob? Well, Tell legend us. has it that the game was invented in Scotland and right. uh, years and years ago. And when they first played their very first round of golf, they had a bottle of Scottish whiskey with them. Okay. And when the bottle was done 18 shots later, the round was over. Oh, that's How a about fun that? Fact. Makes perfect sense, too. It does.